Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day full of only positive vibes. Guys, for those who don't know, the green recon perk has been added to the game. So today's video is going to be talking about it as well as how you can basically unlock it and my honest opinion. But before we continue on with the video, I want to give a huge shout out to Call of Duty Mobile for sponsoring this video. So thank you very much to them for sponsoring. So guys, if you don't know the recon perk, you can unlock it very, very easily. I can actually show it to you guys in the game real quick. So under the event section, you can see there is the seasonal tab that you can click on. And then when you click on that, there is the perk prodigy. It's very simple. Just play a few games with kills with perks. So you can see tracker, get the cold blooded, lightweight, and then the last one is getting high alert and you gotta get five games to win. I recommend doing free for all on shipment or any free for all to be honest with you guys. If you wanna get the win, that'll be the fastest way to do it. Now, the second part of this video is gonna be all from my live stream. I'm gonna give you guys me unlocking it as well as my honest opinion and me trying it out with multiple builds. I'm not gonna spoil anything. I'm gonna mention you guys will be the judge of it, but I don't wanna really talk too much about the recon perk here because you'll see in the rest of my video, I'll explain pretty in depth why I feel like it had some pretty downside. But anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. See you guys at the end. All right, we'll get to try this out. Uh, we'll try it in rank, I guess. I really don't like using it in rank, but you know, at last. Yeah, there was a, see, like, bro, look how useless that was. If I had quick fix, it would have been a little bit better. You know what I mean? Right, like quick fix, like it literally, this this recon thing is so small. So like, even if you laser someone from across the map, did you unlock the perk? Yes, I, I literally have it right now. Look at my mini map, when I kill someone, you see a little ring, that's what the thing is. I don't want to have high alert. Target down. Like if I had quick fix right now, I would be so much happier. Can I reload? Who be what? I'm much rather have quick fix. You know what I mean? Wait, what? Is that the GKS? I'm getting beamed by the GKS, dude. I I think quick fix is like a must. What a new perk does is that when you kill someone, it does a radar, and it shows you people around. However. You, again, if you look at your mini map, you can see you can only see people people Captain close enough. Judges. If they're close enough that you can shoot them, then there's no point of having recon on. See, like right here, if I would add quick fix, it would have been so much better. I would have healed. There's a guy here. See, look, it didn't do anything. Look, it does nothing. No, like the, the reason I'm saying it's not good is because let's say let's say you shoot someone, right? And you can see there's other people on the map. You can already know there's that many people on the map. Now watch, you see that? Look how small that is, right? It's okay if they get that. Exactly, like in SND, what's the point of using this if you can use something like quick fix, uh, toughness, uh, cold blooded, even, right? Even cold blooded is questionable. Is that like you if you kill someone? If they're too far, you're not going to see the pings on the map unless you open your map. And if you're playing, if they're close and you kill one person, if there's already people around you, you're not going to look at your map because you already know, like you already know there's people around. You can hear all the footsteps, right? When sniping is not good because it, it, you don't see people from far. You don't see people from far. You don't see it on the map unless you, li unless you literally quick scope, open up your map to see if someone's there. That's why it's not worth it. It's just because the map is kind of awkward. Maybe with shotgun. You know what, let's try it out with shotgunning. That's why I'm saying like recon is cool on paper, but like how many better options are there? Just at least, I can name at least three. It's kind of cool, like, I didn't even have time to look SND, it could be okay. I don't think it's gonna be amazing. Oh my god. See, like, in situations like that, right? I killed the guy. Even if I had time to look at the map, there's already three people there that I knew. You know what I mean? Let's 
he didn't really it really it really didn't do anything even even in that situation here I, if i had quick fix i would have i would have lived i would have lived i would have been so much better oh that's good in situation there i kind of i kind of knew where the enemy was but there's nothing i can do right good c cap team Literally didn't do anything. Yeah, see? Quick fix is so much better. Blue perks are so bad. Yeah. Probably the worst one. If I rank the best one, green is the best, red second, blue is the third. What are these guys camping? Wait. Good to know there's someone upstairs now, but... Doesn't do anything. Oh my god, that guy's a ghost. What a freak. Enemy down. See, quick fix there would have helped so much better. Oh my god, I hate the fact I don't have quick fix. What the heck is happening? Nice annihilator, dude. Friendly shock RC is ready. Online. Friendly shock RC is yeah, see? Recon is literally doing nothing right now. We've taken the lead. Our UAV has been destroyed. Losing Bravo. Hello? Jesus, dude. I'm hurt. Oh, he jumped on me. Yeah, well, I think quick fix is a must on shoddy classes, but also this this thing is just not useful. Look, you, having a shock RC there would have been so much better. I mean, uh, cold blooded. I'm dead. Whoa, that guy kind of teleported, not gonna lie. Yeah, like the only situation I can see it be useful is like SND. Cause it doesn't really like, or like if you're behind, you shoot someone and someone hiding behind a wall, it's very situational. Or it feels like it. And if you're an aggressive player, you don't want to use this. And if you're like a sniper, you don't want to use it. Cause if you shoot someone from far, you're not gonna see them. I don't know, that's two games we tried it out. This is the build that we went with that I love. Do you play COD Mobile off stream? Uh, yeah, I played some BR earlier today. When you look at the green perks available to you compared to what you can get, like this is on paper super cool, but the radar is small. If you killed someone and it like actually hit the whole like mini map, not your map, the mini map, it could be decent. But the fact that it's a super small circle and you kill someone and when someone's in that range, you already know they're there unless they're hidden behind a wall, right? So if we look at the other green perks, Vulture, Situationally better because this helps you get nukes. Really, that's the only reason you use that. Toughness, if you're fighting someone one-on-one, -on -one, that'll help you with the flinch. I think that's better, in my opinion. Tracker, I think that's a strictly better recon. Because at least this, you know, like where a bunch of people are running towards away. Whereas recon, you have to kill someone. So I think tracker is better. Ghost. Debatable. But I think yes, because a lot of people do use UAVs. So that counteracts UAVs and recon. So then you have the cold blooded. Let's be, let's be honest. This is definitely better. Shock RC is being rampant right now, as well as um, what's it called? Sentry guns and self droppers every once in a while. Personally, I don't use that. Hardwire is actually probably worse than recon, believe it or not, because trip mine, there's basically no trip mine users anymore. Even no, I don't think I see them. So that's definitely probably even as, whereas the recon kind of has some help. This one really just not as great. Quick fix. God tier, in my opinion, it's the best green perk, in my opinion, for aggressive players. And then Amped is just... I guess it's good if you knife. <laughs> or weapon swap. I don't know. Situational, so. And then we talked about this being situationally good in SND. Now, this is the, the flaws of this, okay? When would you use this in SND? Right? Like, if you're playing aggressive and you shoot someone in front of you, 
then you probably know there's someone else because you either A, hear the footsteps, or B, you see them in front of you. Or if there's multiple people, you're not going to have time to kill someone, look at your mini map, and look away. If they're medium range, that's where it might be beneficial. However, your mini map only really sees close range. So you really don't see much. Like, you really don't see much. So if you kill someone medium to long range, let's say, let's say sniping. Let's say you're sniping an SND. And you see someone at the bottom. You're like, all right, snipe someone, bang. Uh, it's very situational. I think the, the one time it could be very useful is that if you're pushing and you see someone at the point and you like slide peek, kill a guy, and you can kind of tell how many people are around the point, but the circle is really small. So it really, mm. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like, share, and subscribe, don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the recon perk. Honestly, like I mentioned, not a huge fan of it. I just think that it has too many downsides. Honestly, I feel like most time you don't use the effect. I'd rather have quick fix. I'd rather have cold blooded. I'd rather have tough. There's so many other options for the green perk since I think it's the best perk. It's just kind of tough to kind of change the quick fix. So let me know what you guys think. I'm out. See you guys next time. Kill it.